Hi, in this video, we're gonna run through the timeline. Now, the timeline is probably the most important part of the editor because you do most of your work on here. So let me show you some quick tips and important things in working with the timeline. So first of all, to zoom in and out of the timeline, you can use this bar over here, simply drag to the left to zoom out or drag to the right to zoom in. You can also fit the timeline to the content on the timeline by clicking on this button here. And a really helpful tip in zooming in another timeline is if you hover your mouse on the time bar here and you click with your left mouse and hold to the left, you can zoom out. If you drag to the right, you can zoom in. And this is super helpful. You're really gonna enjoy using this uh, when you're editing your videos. We've also got these quick buttons over here so you can jump to the start, you can jump to the end, and you can also obviously go ahead and play and preview your video We've also got some keyboard shortcuts like Command 1 if you're on a Mac to jump to the start, Command 2 to jump to the end. And if I zoom in over here, you have to see you can go up a frame using this button here, you can go back a frame using this one here, and you can see the current frame and the time that you're at over here. You can also add animations, so let's say you want to create a fade in animation, we can go ahead and add a keyframe, so let's select Opacity and you can go through and adjust the opacity at the start and you'll see that it fades in like so. Now make sure to check out the keyframe custom animation tutorial to find out exactly how to use keyframes and to how to create different animations using custom animations. We've also got duplicate and cut so you can go ahead and use those buttons there or you can use the keyboard shortcuts and to find our keyboard shortcuts you'll have to see we've got this keyboard icon here so simply click on that you're about to see a whole bunch of shortcuts that you can use to really speed up your editing. We've also got our grids over here, which you can turn on and off. And we've got things like undo and redo. Also on the timeline, you can remove tracks by simply right clicking and remove track. Or you can right click and remove excess tracks to remove all unused tracks. So those are just some quick tips in working on the timeline.